we are in a great mood over here. My video editor is doing some great work for a new course recording I'm doing. And there's a few other things happening with my family and friends. And I know that by the time you watch this video, hopefully if you've clicked on it, you will also be in a great mood because you will have saved some designs that you might've lost. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can recover any past things that you might've lost inside your Canva. Let's dive in. So hi, if we have not met before, my name is Jackie and I am a graphic designer who loves teaching business owners how they can strategically use Canva to grow their business, use design, use branding, all of those beautiful visuals to make their business look the part and capture the attention of their audience and future clients. So when I'm working with clients, a lot of the time they're like, oh, I don't want to touch anything because I don't want to ruin everything that you've just done for me in Canva. I'm like, you don't have to worry. Canva has a beautiful feature, asterisk here. For those of you with Canva Pro, this is a pro only feature. I'm very sorry. If you You've lost something very important you might like to just sign up to canva pro for a little while to find that again there's a link in the caption if you would like to do so using my affiliate link please and thank you but what i'm going to show you is the history button in canva so if you were suddenly like working on a design and you accidentally deleted like a whole range of pages so i'm just going to delete a few pages that i wanted and then maybe i close that design and then now that i've opened it back up again i can't use the undo feature which just to make sure that we're all on the same page. If you go to, um, say you're inside a design and you might um, have accidentally deleted a text box, to get that back, all you'd have to do is press undo, redo, undo, redo. All well and good, but that undo will not work once you've left the design. Or if you've done like a whole lot of steps after that, it, there's only so many read undos you can do. So if you find you've made a mistake, you've deleted something you weren't meant to, or you've made a big change to something you weren't meant to, this is where the history button really shines. So what you're gonna do, so obviously I've lost all the designs that I just had before, and I'm really hoping this works because I didn't wanna lose those designs. If you head to file at the top left-hand corner and move your mouse down to version history, you'll see, as I mentioned, it is a pro only feature. You can tell that because it's got the little crown on it. If I press version history, it's going to bring up the whole history of this document. And so you can see here all the way down here, I've got me and my team working on this design for quite a while. It's had a lot of hands and a lot of effort put into it. because it's a whole podcast repurposing system for a whole episode of a podcast. And you can see all the way when I first started designing on it back down here, I can go all the way back to there just by clicking on it. So I can't go back to the original one, but if I click on this one here, then it will show me a little preview of what the design looked like at that time. So you can see this is actually just our temp templated version of this design, not the edited version of this. So I do not want to go back to here because that does not have the part of the design I just deleted on it. So I would not press restore here. I would go and then scroll through until I found the version that was the exact version that I wanted. So maybe I check this version here and that looks, that's looking good, but I can tell it's not the most updated version. So obviously I would actually scroll around to the top here and I would click on 605 June 20, because that's going to have the version before I deleted those graphics that I just deleted. So I'm going to click on this one and you can see all of my extra designs in here that I had deleted earlier. And I'm like, yes, bingo, that's the one. Now there are two options for you at this point. You may choose to restore. So that will bring back this design as it was at June 20, back to as my full design. That will be what it now looks like. Or if for some reason, maybe you this is, I've actually done this quite a few times. I'll have accidentally done something to a design, but I might not have realized. And I'll have made some more changes to the design after I accidentally deleted a page or two. And so I actually want both versions. I want the version that I've deleted some stuff from, but I had made some changes to that I really liked. But I also want to capture those old pages that I deleted or a version that looked different. I, if I wanted to keep both of those, what I would press instead of restore, which would overwrite anything that I'd worked on since this version, is I would press make a copy. And that's going to make a copy of this past version so I can then choose to combine or change pages. So at this point, for example, if I go through maybe on my old version, if I just press exit out of here, I've changed this quote to being something new. <laughs> I've changed this quote to mean something new, but I don't want to lose this page. What I would then do is I'd go to my restored version here. I would locate the pages that I had lost to so say it might have been, I'll just double check. It was these pages here to here. So I can then select these pages. I've just clicked on this page, press shift and held down shift and clicked on the last page I wanted to find. Then I'm going to right click and press copy or you can press control C go into the design that I've kind of deleted the pages from, but made some extra changes to, and I can click on that and press paste. So I'm just press control V or you can right click and press paste. And that's going to paste in those pages that I had lost from the restored version that I found earlier. So just to reiterate, so, so simple. You just have to have Canva Pro, press file, go to version history, and you'll be able to find all the past iterations of your design. Now, obviously this one here doesn't have a version history because I only just did it recently. Um, but if I was to go back to my old version that has quite 
a strong version history, you can see all these. Now, it's not going to have every single tiny, tiny little tweak. So at some points, that undo button is going to be your best friend. Or you may have lost something if you made a lot of really quick changes in a short amount of time that Canva hadn't maybe auto saved for in between, or it didn't Canva might not have thought it was a big enough tweak to bother saving, but most of the time you'll find everything you need right inside this version history. And again, you can click on the one that you like, preview it to check that it's the correct one. And then you would go through and you'd either make a copy if you wanted a copy of this, of, of where the design was at this stage in time, or you can restore your design back to this version. Now, just, I forgot to mention as well, when you're inside a design and you want to do undo, you can also press control Z on your keyboard or control Z if you're in the US and it will undo or redo what you're what you're doing. So if you hover over it, you also seek. So command or control Z, or if you wanted to redo something, it's shift control slash command Z. Command is for if you're on Mac, control is for if you're on PC. In case you're wondering why I'm saying control slash command, depends on what you're using. So I hope that's helpful for you. I hope that has saved your day. Um, and let me know in the comments what graphic you restored. And if you're looking at all of these graphics and think, gee, Jackie, these graphics look amazing. I wish I could design this well. I would love to invite you to my free Seriously in Business Challenge. It's a three-part video series that's going to go through, totally free, by the way, that's going to go through teaching you how to design your own branding and graphics in a really beautiful way to make sure that you're not just wasting time in Canva, having graphics that you're not proud of and showing up with, and something that you can grow your business with and can grow with you as your business thrives. So thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you've hit the like and subscribe button to make sure you catch me for more tutorials and branding and design advice. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.